In this video, we're studying a simple magnifying glass, and this is just a single converging lens. In other words, a convex lens. And the key is that we move the object that we want to study inside the focus. So in the picture, I see the object right here. It's the little upright arrow. And I see the focus outside of that. And we're told in this problem, this is going to create a magnified upright virtual image. And then we're given all the numbers that we see in the diagram. So in part A, we want to draw all three principal rays to determine the location and size of this image geometrically. In other words, we want to get a qualitative solution using a ray diagram. So I'll start with a ray emerging horizontally from the tip of our object. That's going to be refracted through the focus on the opposite side. Then a ray emerging toward the center of the lens will be unrefracted. And finally, a ray that's coming at the lens from the direction of the near side focus. That's going to be refracted horizontally. So these are the principal rays. What I see coming out of this lens, if I stick my eyeball on the right hand side of the screen, what I see is three diverging rays. And where I'm going to perceive the image is where all of these rays have a common origin. So now I have to trace all these back and find a common origin. So there's one and there's two and there's three. And we're happy to see that all three of these rays intersect in the same spot. And it looks like our image is about right here. So the ray diagram is useful for a couple reasons. Like first, it reminds you what's happening physically and why the image is formed where it is. Second, it allows you to approximate the numerical solutions that you'll get from the thin lens equation. So we can take advantage of the grid in this problem where every space is one centimeter. And we just count the spaces and find out that this image distance is about 17 centimeters. That counts as negative because it's on the same side as the object. And our object was one space high. Our image is about three and a half spaces high. So our magnification is about three and a half. Any significant deviation from those numbers would indicate some kind of problem with the math. So in part B, the goal is to use the thin lens equation to get the exact numbers out of this. And we have some space up here if I just erase my eyeball. So the thin lens equation goes like this. One over image distance plus one over object distance is equal to one over F, the focal length. And this means one over the image distance is one over the focal length minus one over the object distance. The focal length counts as positive for a converging lens. So I have one over eight minus one over 5.5. That was my object distance. And I like to do this all at once in my calculator. Just do one over eight minus one over 5.5 and then take the reciprocal of the answer. And I get an image distance of negative 17.6 centimeters. That's a pretty good agreement with what we got from the ray diagram. Next, we get the magnification. That's negative image distance over object distance. So plugging in our negative image distance, we get a positive magnification, which is good because we see an upright image here. That image distance was 17.6 centimeters. The object distance 5.5. And when we run these numbers, we get a magnification of positive 3.2. And again, we check with what we got by approaching the problem geometrically. We said the magnification should be about three and a half. This is definitely close enough for this quality of ray diagram. And we're done. If you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful, check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left or click the Zach's Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab, and best of luck on your math and physics journey.